Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use Python OpenCV on your Visual Studio Code editor on your Windows operating system. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to create your project folder. So let's uh, create that. So I'm going to create a new uh, project folder with the name OpenCV app, for example. And then I'm going to open this folder in my Visual Studio Code editor, which is simple. You can just click on open folder or click on file and then click on open folder and then just navigate to your OpenCV app folder. So I'm going to just select this folder and then I'm going to just open this folder in my Visual Studio Code editor. I'm going to just say yes, I trust this app and then to test my OpenCV code, I'm going to create a very simple uh, Python script. So let me create a Python file first of all. I'm going to name my file as test.py and then press enter, which is going to create the script. And then I'm going to just uh, write a very simple OpenCV script, which imports CV2 uh, library and then uh, you can see it creates some shapes on the image. So right now you can see when I import CV2, it says import CV2 could not be resolved. So to solve this problem, just open your terminal. So click on terminal and then open a new terminal. And then first of all, we are going to create a new virtual environment in our project so that we can just install OpenCV libraries locally in our project. So just type this command, which is Python. But first of all, you can see that I have opened PowerShell here. I want to open the command prompt terminal and not the PowerShell. You can use PowerShell if you want, but for now I'm going to be using command prompt. So just make sure that uh, command prompt terminal is open you can just click on this icon and then click on command prompt and the command prompt uh, terminal will be opened. Now just type uh, python hyphen m v n and the name of your virtual environment. I'm going to name my virtual environment as my n. You can name your virtual environment as anything. So this name can be given by you. Once you uh, have written your command, press enter, which is going to create your virtual environment in your project. You can see this directory is created once you have uh, given the command. Also, Visual Studio Code is going to give you this kind of uh, message window. It says, we noticed a new environment has been created. Do you want to select it uh, for the workspace folder? I can say yes for Visual Studio Code and it will be uh, saved for your Visual Studio Code. So now your environment is created, but you need to activate it. So when you open your my and or whatever is the name of your virtual environment uh, folder, you will see a script directory under it. And there is this activate uh, file here. We need to run this to activate our virtual environment. To run this, just type the name of your virtual en environment uh, folder, which is my env in my case, then forward slash, then write scripts, and then forward slash activate. Just type this command and then press enter, which is going to activate your virtual environment. And to verify if your vo virtual environment has been activated, you can see that the name of your virtual environment is now uh, visible in front of your path, right? So if you see this path, that means your virtual environment has been activated for your project. Before running this command, I was not seeing this virtual environment name in front of the path, right? Once that's done, in order to install OpenCV in your project, you can give this command. So just write pip install and then write open cv hyphen python. 
okay you don't need to install cv2 package because in order to import this library you just need to install open cv hyphen python package right not cv2 package just type pip install open cv hyphen python and then press enter which is going to install this uh, pip package in your project and once this command is successful you will see this message which says successfully installed uh, numpy which is the dependency of uh, opencv and opencv python right you can also see this warning and this appears when your pip uh, is older right so in order to upgrade your pip version you can uh, give this command if you want but for now i don't want to do this so once opencv python is installed successfully you can uh, just run your script so now you will see that these squiggly lines are gone from the import i just need to import numpy also in my uh, script because i'm using numpy for uh, creating uh, my images now i can just run this script by just typing python and the name of the script which is test.py in my case and then press enter once i uh, press enter you can see there is the output of my script and i was just creating some shapes in my uh, opencv code so it's just creating those shapes here and this is how you can install and use opencv in your visual studio code editor right so that's it for this video i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video